Today, continuing our theme on conifer conservation, we're going to look at one of the most exciting conifer, uh, if not botanical stories of the last several decades. That is the discovery of what was considered to be an extinct fossil tree. And the tree standing here behind me is a mature example of Wallamia nobilis, or the Wallamai pine. This fascinating tree uh, was discovered in 1994, about 150 kilometers north of Sydney in Australia. This is an extraordinary uh, find to consider that this species has been lying effectively under people's noses for, for a very, very long time, but had remained hidden. In 1994, a botanist working in this area came across a very unusual tree and wasn't quite sure what it was. Research uh, quickly uh, revealed that this was, in fact, Wallamia nobilis. At that point, that this tree species had only existed as a fossil, dating back to about 40 million years. But like uh, many of these ancient fossils, this tree probably goes back a lot further and could, in fact, be stretching back to about 200 million years in, hi in history. Given such a small number of trees, it is essential that a species like this is propagated uh, urgently because 100 trees is very, very small. Any damage by fire or pathogen, whatever uh, the case may be, could really wipe out this species. So uh, around that time in the late 90s, Sydney Botanic Gardens took on an international program of propagation of this uh, magnificent species here behind us. And they disseminated uh, plants all around the world uh, to botanic gardens and so on. Now the species is widely available, even within the nursery trade. So those 100 plants are now existing in many, many thousands of gardens around the world. And it's not necessarily uh, improving the conditions in its natural habitat, but it is safeguarding the plant for the future. The specimen you're looking at here was planted in JFK in 2005, and it's now reached this magnificent scale here, probably above seven, between seven to eight meters. And one of the reasons it's doing so well here is because the conditions at the John F. Kennedy Arboretum are absolutely ideal. So one of the challenges we faced when these plants first came into Ireland in 2005 was that we had planted uh, specimens at Glasnevin in Dublin, Kilmacurra in Wicklow and here at John F. Kennedy. But it became apparent quite quickly that the plants at Glasnevin were just not growing as well as the plants at John F. Kennedy Arboretum and Kilmacurra. And one of the reasons were, was that the conditions there, the environmental conditions at Glasnevin are not ideal. It's too dry, the soil is alkaline and free draining, so clearly the species does not enjoy that type of environment. So we, took, we made the decision a number of years ago to lift the plants at Glasnevin, transfer them down here to JFK, and we're very happy to say that the plants that were struggling in Dublin are now thriving down here on this site. And that does show you the, the advantage and the benefit of the Office of Public Works owning and managing a whole range of different sites across the country, because these different environmental conditions allow us to grow a much wider range of plants than we would if we, if we were restricted to one site. Following on from the, this species discovery in 1994 and the dissemination of all of those plants around the globe, uh, further analysis was done on the, on the 100 existing plants in, in the Wallamai Gorge. And at that time it was considered that, or thought at least, that those 100 plants were simply clones of one another, so lacking any particular genetic diversity. But genetic analysis revealed um, in the following years that there was six unique genetic types occurring in that gorge. So this is very important for, for plant conservation. You're, you're trying to maximize genetic diversity and therefore build up resilience in your, in your populations. So Sydney Botanic Gardens, um, a number of years ago, embarked on a, on a program of propagating each of those six unique genetic types. And they successfully propagated several hundred of these, of these specimens and took on a program of distributing those six uh, unique types to a number of botanic gardens around the world, 28 of them being in Europe. Now we're very, very lucky uh, in Ireland to have received two sets of these six unique genotypes. Here at the John F. Kennedy Arboretum, we received six in 2023, and our sister garden in Kilmacurra Botanic Gardens received another six of the same genotypes. The, the project was, was managed in Europe by Bedgebury Pinetum in uh, southern England, Bedgebury received these plants from Australia. They kept them at Bedgebury under quarantine for a certain number of months to ensure there was no pests or so on being brought into Europe. Once Bedgebury were happy with that, plants were then disseminated. So in 2023, I had the pleasure of driving over to Bedgebury Pinetum 
and collecting the, these, these 12 plants for our, our sites our, in, in Ireland. Six for the John F. Kennedy Arboretum here and six for the uh, Kilmacurra Botanic Gardens. So we are now the only sites in Ireland to contain these unique genotypes. So we do represent a very, very important ex situ collection and we are feeding into what, what, what is termed a global meta collection. Um, this, is, this is vital for the conservation of this species. Um, with, with recent bushfires in Australia, um, pathogens uh, coming into these areas, there is a real threat to this species in the wild. So our collections here, collections in the UK and across Europe, are really a vital part of the, of the global conservation of this species. So in, in light of the success uh, of this project and the importance globally of this meta collection at the site here at, at John F. Kennedy Arboretum, we decided to invite the uh, Australian ambassador to Ireland, the Honourable Gary Gray. Uh, Gary came here in November 2023 for a ceremonial planting of one of these unique genotypes. And we're very happy to say that this plant is alive and well, and we look forward to seeing it growing in, in the coming years. So we look forward to, to having you here at, at our events this week, uh, and we hope, like us, that you build and you develop your appreciation for these, for these wonderful trees.